This tutorial is going to be all about designing shapes and artwork to cut out on the laser cutter. So we're going to use Tinkercad to create our item. On your design page, we're going to go ahead and click on the create button and choose 3D design. Alright, I'm going to move my video up here just a moment and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and look at the settings for this workspace and here in the unit section you can see that the settings are automatically defaulted to millimeters so the first thing you need to decide is are you creating um, your shape using millimeters and centimeters or do you want to use measurements in inches uh, remember let's grab our ruler what that looks like right so here these are inches along that top of my ruler and then on the bottom of my ruler here these are going to be centimeters and those little small lines millimeters so decide that first um, and then go ahead and close your settings I think for this design on the laser cutter I might take my measurements in inches and then I can close my settings all right so first thing we're going to do is just drag a basic shape over um, I was creating a shape to cut out and add some LEDs to for a project so I'm gonna just drag over a star shape and then if I want to uh, resize the shape best to do that using these uh, corner white boxes here I can either drag to resize and I'm gonna undo that for just a moment Control Z. Um, if I hold down my shift key while I'm dragging it will hold the dimensions of the shape while I resize it or command Z. If I know the specific measurements of the shape that I want to create, then I click on that white box and then I can type in my measurements here. So let's say right now this is 1.8 inches, meaning my star is only about this big. So let's say I want to make it an even two inches by two inches or thereabouts. So I can click in here and change that to a two and change that to a two. And that's going to be about two inches for my project. All right, now the other thing that I can do is, because this is for the laser cutter, I'm not creating a three-dimensional object. I just need a design that will let me cut out um, an almost more flat shape. So I'm going to let me rotate this way a little bit. This center box here, if I click on that, that is the height of my shape. And I want to shrink it down to really, really, something really, really small. Like I hardly need any, um, any height there at all so really 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 small just less than an inch less than half an inch I mean, it could be even that I just drag this down by hand and just make that nice and flat there that should be fine okay and then maybe I want to create some cutouts in my shape too um, for other parts or like I said I've been creating pieces to put some LEDs in. So these top two shapes here on the right side of your screen, those are your, um, uh, those are for making holes or cutouts. So if I am going to make some space for an LED, I might drag that over, same thing, resize it to whatever size I need. My LEDs are about five millimeters. So about a quarter of an inch or so, probably a little smaller. So I'll type in, 0.25 inches, 0.25 inches, and that's a quarter of an inch. Probably I need that a little bit smaller. So we'll say half of that, 0.125, 0.125. All right. And then I can drag this to where I want to cut out a hole. And right now it's on top of my star. I'm going to use this black triangle to move it down to create a cutout. If I need to duplicate that cut in various places, I can control D and then drag that shape around to where I want it. Now I'm gonna group my items when I'm all done here. So I'm gonna select all, and then I need to move my video down again because my grouping tool is up here. So I'm gonna group those there we go. And now we've got our whole cutouts. 
Once I'm done with my shape, the last thing I need to do is export it properly. Oh, I need to give it a name too that makes sense actually. So we'll say star cutout for laser cutter. Good. So make sure to name your project something that um, your teachers can identify uh, for when you email it to them. Because now what I need to do is export it for the laser cutter. So I'm going to come up here to the export button. And there's only one choice for laser cutting all the way at the bottom here. So I'm going to select .svg. And my file is ready for the laser cutter. 